Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome to another video reaction as we get ready to finish off Game of Thrones. This is it. This is the last episode. This is the finale. Uh, my allegiance to Danny will not change. Uh, a lot of you had some uh, strong opinions uh, about my last reaction, which I welcome greatly. Uh, I like the discourse. I like that you guys disagree. You don't have to agree with how I am taking in the show, right? Uh, which is the best part. We can all have different opinions and cheer for different characters and different outcomes, right? Important to remember this is still just a show. It's not real life. We're just having fun. Well, unless you're in King's Landing, you're not having fun because you're burned. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm nervous, a little bit nervous. Uh, worried. And uh, a little bit sad just because this amazing Game of Thrones uh, journey is coming to an end. And I won't know, I don't know what I will be able to do with myself after it's finished. Uh, it's been uh, a great year of watching this show and, you know, uh, getting to meet you guys and you guys finding my channel. Uh, this was, you know, the Game of Thrones reactions were basically what kicked off my channel, really. Uh, found a great community that has been super welcoming outside of this last episode <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm gonna be a little bit sad now that it's ending hopefully I'll be somewhat satisfied with the ending I'm of the belief that it's very very difficult for everyone to be satisfied with an ending of a show uh, hopefully even though I like I said in the previous reaction I already know where they're going and I am thinking that Dan is gonna die which is gonna hurt me uh, hopefully though it's you know not gonna be too painful since I'm already expecting it and I did say that if she is to die the last episode should be the episode in which Danny dies uh, I don't have many predictions for the show honestly anything could happen at this point my sole pred prediction is that I'm seeing Danny uh, being killed, uh, specifically by Arya, as I explained in the previous reaction. Uh, and I'm also thinking uh, that. Hmm. I think John might end up sitting on the Iron Throne, if there is even an Iron Throne by the end of this. Uh, but I do see Jon eventually being the ruler of the Seven Kingdoms by the end of the show. But these are pretty much the only predictions that I can even kind of make. Everything else is really up in the air. Uh, so I'm super excited to jump right into this finale, guys. Uh, hope you're ready. A lot of you guys were excited for me to watch this after my previous reaction specifically. So I am, I'm thinking there's not going to be a lot of joy for me in this, in this final episode. Before we do that though, I do need to give a special shout out to my amazing Patreons. Uh, Jeremy S.T. Sire, Precious Lily White, Mars of France, I like to stay home, Nettles, Heather, Mama Cadbury Sweets, Archangel, Irene K. and Zach Love. Thank you guys. As always, for being patrons of the channel, uh, your support is always appreciated. For anybody who would like to join the Patreon, you can find the link in the description down below for full-length reactions as well as other Patreon-exclusive benefits. Uh, consider subscribing, we are so close to 1000k, uh, which is a hu huge milestone for the channel. Uh, so if you are a semi-regular and you're enjoying the reactions, consider hitting the subscribe button. With all that being said, uh, let's jump right into the Game of Thrones finale, guys. Let's go. Subterion. 
queen of the asses. Literally. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. As I said, the person who threw the, no the rocket net is in there somewhere. And that's all that matters. This is It's only two corpses I'm interested in seeing right now. Cersei and Jamie. I want to confirm that they're dead. Please. I'm going alone. Is he going to talk to Danny? Again, is this long drawn out walk supposed to make me feel bad for the burned people? Zero guilt. In the name of the one true queen, Daenerys yes. Targaryen. Yes, Grey Worm. You to die. And Grey Worm also got to have his own revenge moment. You feel me? After what they did so, to Missandei. Not over until the Queen's enemies are defeated. How much more defeated do you want them to be? They're on their knees. They are breathing. Yes! <laughs> Look around you, friend. Kill all who follow Cersei Lannister. No, the, the command is Dracarys. Easy, easy. What Missandei easy. said before they took their, her head off. L listen. I am especially not about to feel bad for Lannister's shoulders. They've breathed enough oxygen already. Yes. So it! So it! I'm. What did I say? There's been three people who have always stood by Danny Grey Worm, Missande, Zora. And these are, to this day, the people that are standing with here. Or stood with here. This is where it collapsed on them, isn't it? Jamie's hand! How is Tyrion gonna react to this? Listen, Jamie made his choice, right? What did Grandma Tyrell say? This is gonna be the end of you. Was his choice? Tyrion set him free? For him to be there? Tyrion better not blame Danny for Jamie's death either. Yes! Party music? Party music? Isn't this beautiful? How romantic! How romantic is this image right here? I mean, that's what they both wanted, wasn't it? Well, that's what Jamie wanted. I don't think Cersei cared. Uh, Cersei really just didn't want to die at the end of the day. She didn't give two shits about Jamie. And I remember trying to make us feel like she cared suddenly. The previous episode. She's like, are you hurt? Bitch, please. He came back without a hand and you told him he took too long. You threw him to the side the moment he started speaking logically and said that you should honor what you said and go fight the army of the dead. You were ready to, to change him with fucking urine. And Jamie, as I said, I liked his character. He had major growth throughout season, but I'm gonna cherish this image because this is how they both deserve to go. It's so beautiful, I might shed a tear. But not for the same reason that Tyrion is crying. You better not give them proper burials either. Let them sit there and rot. Are you smashing Cersei's face in? That's what I would have to do. So beautiful. Now, one thing I will say is... I thought all of the Dothraki were dead during the battle at Winterfell. But there seemed to be a ton of them still. Did some of them just not march? In the front lines. We got the Targaryen banners! That's what I wanted to fucking see! Targaryen banners up! I better see Danny sitting on that Iron Throne by the time John climbs up those stairs. Mr. Grey Worm. <sighs> the imagery! I got chills. The wings of dragon be. Oh my god! Danny, my queen, I bow down to you. We did. This is what Momoa Shapka promised to her. She fulfilled it. Oh my god, this is epic. This is epic. I have chills. Torgonudo. A Vitolvio a Nuro Gentasi Brosa. Dario Valerio Valeriat. 
Give him the flowers that he deserves. Miss Sande should have been here too. Where are we going, Danny? Bro, she's so fucking badass. I don't give a shit. Like the chills I have through this entire scene, I just can't really. Yeah, Tyrion, you did this. We could have fended King's Landing and just the Red Keep if you just allowed her to go there with her three dragons and burn the Red Keep when she wanted to. You too are a liberator of the people of King's Landing, Tyrion. I don't want to see no no looks. John too. You your brother. You committed treason. Uh oh. And you slaughtered a city. Well, not really. A part of a city. Yeah. <laughs> the Ansarids were like, oh shit! <laughs> the Ansarids were like, no, he didn't! <laughs> it shouldn't have even come to this Tyrion. If you just put the fucking wine glass down and just plant this better since the beginning but hey it is what it is Tyrion my guy my guy John you too didn't want her to go with her three dragons and just burn Cersei you too told her she should wait and just focus on what's, what's happening in the north instead don't start playing your morality high ground cards now I won't have it I won't have any of it I came to kill Cersei your queen got there first. Wait for me outside the city gates. I'll come find you. John. She knows who you are. You'll always be a threat to her. And I know a killer when I see one. See, really she didn't one? just kill him even right away. She just jailed him. I betrayed my closest friend and watched him burn. Now Varys's ashes can tell my ashes. See? Since when was Varys Tyrion's closest friend? What? Why are we lying? So is there life after death? Apparently no. Not that I've seen. Unless he was just like idle. Because <laughs> he was gonna be brought back. Oblivion so. is the best I could hope for. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I betrayed my queen. He didn't. I did. I chose my fate. The people of King's Landing did not. I can't justify what happened. I can. But the war is over now. Is it? Did she sound like someone who's done fighting? I mean, if the rest of Westeros is dumb enough to not just bow down after hearing what happened to King's Landing... She liberated the people of Slaver's Bay. Our Queen's nature is fire and blood. You think our house words are stamped on our bodies when we're born, and that's who we are? Ah, then I'd be fire and blood too. She's not her father, no more than your Tywin Lannister. My father was an evil man. My sister was an evil woman. Pile up all the bodies of all the people they ever killed. There still won't be half as many as our beautiful queen slaughtered. Bullshit! She left her no choice. Bullshit! Bullshit, man. Doesn't matter if they actually did it by themselves. They were incapable of doing it by themselves. Like Danny just did. Would you have burned the city down? No, John wouldn't have done it. That's true. I don't know. I can't argue against that. You don't want to betray I did say it. I don't know if that would have been a good thing. That might have gotten jo uh, John killed in the end. Would have tried to do the honorable Stark shit. And they would have gotten him. She believes her destiny is to build a better world for everyone. If you believed that, wouldn't you kill whoever stood between you and paradise? Even here allowing John to go and talk with Tyrion is better than Tawin and Cersei allowed when they had Tyrion captured. I love her too. Not as successfully as you. What? But I believed in her with all my heart. Well, apparently not enough to trust that Love she could go to King's Landing early, burn the Red Keep down, not the people, and just continue on her merry way. You tried to play it smart and help your family, and it backfired. Love is the death of duty. You just came up with that? No. Night's words. Mr. Eamon said it a long words. time ago. Sometimes... Duty is the death of love. 
This is some good writing. You've always tried to do the right thing, no matter the cost. Who is the greatest threat to the people now? The terrible thing I'm asking. It's also the right thing. Who is more dangerous than the rightful heir to the Iron Throne? A couple of things could happen here. John might also That's die. That's her decision. She is the queen. Oh, if John tries to go and kill Danny, he might die too. And your sisters? Do you see them bending the knee? Why do you think Sansa told me the truth about you? She doesn't want Danny to be queen. She doesn't get to choose. No. But you do. This is also sounding very similar to Ned's. You know, Varys told Ned prior to his death. What about your daughters? Uh, all of them could die. Tyrion, Jon, and Danny could all die this episode. And then what? If Jon dies, if Danny dies, if Tyrion dies, who rules? <laughs> Drogon was sleeping <laughs> in the snow. Drogon is like, you better watch what you do. I'm so fucking nervous, bro. I don't. <laughs> and I just know, like. I know Dan is dying, so the the only other question is who else is going with her? Because like if as I said, like who is gonna rule? I like I don't trust Sansa to be a good ruler. I, I really don't. Like any almost every scene with Danny in this episode, the imagery gives me chills. It's just because, you know, it's all the lead up to this. Yeah, it came in like, you know, extreme conditions. The situation right now is not ideal. It's far from ideal. But it is what it is, man. I've chose my side. And of course I remember the scene when she was in the House of the Undying, seeing the images. I'm sure we all thought this had to do with the White Walkers, why the, the throne room was destroyed. Yes. Sit. On. The. Throne. She better at least sit on the throne at least once before she dies, bro. They're not gonna do it, are they? They're gonna play with us like that. When I was a girl, my brother told me it was made with a thousand swords from Aegon's fallen enemies. What do a thousand swords look like in the mind of a little girl who can't count to twenty? So many fallen enemies, you could only see the soles of Aegon's feet. I saw them executing Lannister prisoners in the street. Yeah? They said they were acting on your orders. Yeah? It was necessary. Necessary? Yeah? Have you been down there? Their innocence as a weapon against me. She thought it would cripple me. And Tyrion? He conspired behind my back with my enemies. How have you treated people who've done the same to you, even when it broke your heart? You can forgive all of them. Make them see they made a mistake. Make them understand. If she forgives Tyrion now, she's Dad. just only gonna work to get her killed. I Tell me I'm lying. The world we need won't be built by men loyal to the world we have. The world to be. Ooh, that was bars from Danny right there. Not easy to see something that's never been before. A good world. Such a good scene. There's oh, been the so, like, both no this world. conversation and John with Tyrion, they've been such good scenes, in my choose. opinion. Wait, what's she say? All the other people who think they know what's good. They don't get to choose. Yeah, that's a bit extreme, Build but... the new world with me. It has been from the beginning since you were a little boy with a bastard's name. And I was a little girl who couldn't count to 20. We break the wheel. Together. You are my queen. Now. And always. So now you're gonna try something funny? Oh! <laughs> Who? Which of the two? Did Danny stab him or did he stab Danny? How much is we? We're 36 minutes into the episode. Are you gonna kill her 36 minutes into the last episode, Game of Thrones? Are you fucking serious, Game of Thrones? Really? Really? 
couldn't even give us 50 minutes really I don't know if I want to continue the episode now I really don't I really don't I really don't what you give us all this and then you just like that you kill her like that I would have been okay with this but not 36 minutes into the episode man are you serious I still have 36 more minutes to go I hope Drogon burns everybody I don't care I don't give a shit I don't give a shit you all go down with the ship you don't get to exclude yourselves from this you do not get to exclude yourselves from this you do not get to exclude yourselves all of a sudden Tyrion is gonna try and act like he didn't play a part in this Jon is gonna try and act like he didn't play a part in this they're all gonna try and act like they didn't the only one who has kept it real is Grey Worm I hope Grey Worm rules I hope Grey Worm and the Unsullied Army rules Westeros I can't believe it that they did like this early you can't kill her this early what is the rest of the episode gonna be about? Like, do I give a fuck? Like, who? who? About who? Okay, they killed her, okay? Now what? Now 36 minutes, minutes of episode left to fill. I can't even look at the screen right now. What the fuck is this? No, man. No, man. No. No. I'm just emotionally, just not invested anymore, bro. They better pull a trick and, like, some house is not dead. Or something. This better be a trick. This better be a trick. Because I swear, if they do this here and then they start showing us like Sansa and Winterfell, I'm gonna leave the room. Because who gives a fuck about Sansa right now, bro? It seriously pissed me off. I don't care. I don't care. Who cares? That's what they're gonna do, aren't they? They're gonna, they're gonna do this right now. And then they're gonna show us Sansa or something, Winterfell. What? Uh, Grey Worm is gonna try and kill Jon Snow. Because he killed Danny, which I 100% approve of. And then what? What's le left there to solve? You couldn't. Like, if you want it, this whole Danny turns evil shit, really? If you wanted it, show us in this last episode, you were doing a great job. She said this about they don't get to choose. I, I, even I was like, oh, you know, that's a bit extreme. She was ready to execute Ty Tyrion. Show us her killing Tyrion. Make us feel like, you know, maybe make us question it make me feel like morally maybe i'm like you know maybe this should die or something which i wouldn't have even if she killed Tyrion. but like try to give us something more for me to actually consider her death being like acceptable the only thing this made me feel honestly i want john to, to die more now after this that what was what has been the whole deal with Danny since the beginning that we've we've seen her character, right? She couldn't trust nobody. Isn't that what she said to Zora early? What was it, season two? That she couldn't trust nobody? Everybody betrays her? Is that not what Danny's character since the beginning has said? You couldn't even be man enough to let her know this is what it is before you kill her, John. A whole man against a woman and you have to like pretend and then stop her? Really? Miss Sunday, Zora, Gregor. The only characters that were worth a damn when it came to Dan, really. And Naharis. I might just not play, play again, bro. This was the the one thing that I didn't want to see. An early death for Dan this episode. Because what the fuck am I gonna... Why, why am I even invested now? I don't 
give a shit about King's Landing. I genuinely don't give a shit about King's Landing. All the morality fucking uh, arguments you can have with me, I don't care about them. Why should I care? They were doing so good! They could have actually made Danny like actually appear fucking evil and warmongering and stuff. Now I feel even worse for Danny. I want John to die. I want Tyrion to die. Now I suddenly want two of my favorite characters to die. Because they tried to exclude them from this. Yeah, I'm furious. I'm furious. I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> I don't want to press play because it, I'm gonna get increasingly pissed off as the episode keeps going. I'm just gonna get more furious as the episode keeps going. If Drogon doesn't just burn everybody, I'm just gonna get even more upset as I keep watching. The only character that is left to save me right now is Drogon and Grey Worm. These are the only two characters left for me to root for, genuinely. No, I don't even. I'm, I'm not, I don't even want to see this. I don't even want to see this. I don't even want to see this. I don't, I don't care, John. I don't care, John. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Do it like a man next time. Do it like a man next time. Do it like a man next time. Either Danny comes back and save this episode, this episode, or this episode was ruined for me 36 minutes in. Drogon, bear him now! Bear him! I don't care! I don't care! I don't care! Dracarys! Everybody fucking betrayed Danny, bro! That's the story! They didn't even... How people try to reason with Danny? They have one talk with her and they decide that this is it. Varys had one conversation with her and he decided that... Oh no, she just, she just lost. She's gonna kill everybody. Tyrion had two conversations with her and he was like, nah, she just lost, she's gonna kill everybody. Jon had one conversation with her now and he was like, nah, I have to kill her. Drogon, burn everybody, burn everybody, so we can focus on what's apparently really important, which is Sansa Winterfell. Please tell me that there are like dragon tears that bring people to life or something. Yes, please, burn him, please. Burn him, please. Or will he not be able to bear because he's part... He's part uh, Targaryen or something. Yeah, if Danny does not get to sit on the Iron Throne, nobody gets to sit on the Iron Throne. Drogon, while you're at it, burn everybody else too. And if John doesn't burn, oh well. Bro, stop what? Stop showing us Danny with a dagger in your heart. Where are you going? You have people to burn! YO BETTER NOT SHOW ME SANSA AND WINTERFELL I CAN'T BELIEVE THEY FUCKING DID THIS BRO WHAT THE FUCK IS THIS WHO ARE THESE PEOPLE WE WILL DECIDE WHAT WE DO WITH OUR PRISONERS this is our city now. If you look outside the walls of your city, you'll find thousands of Northmen who will explain to you why harming Jon Snow is not in your interest. A tyrant. She freed us from a tyrant. Cersei is gone because of her, and Jon Snow put a knife in her heart. Let the Unsullied give him what he deserves. Yes. We've been cutting each other's throats long enough. Torgo and Nudo. Am I saying that properly? No, but... If it weren't for you and your men, we would have lost the war with the dead. This country owes you a debt it can never repay. You know who you are in debt to? There is land in the reach. Do you know who you are in debt to? People that used to live there are gone. We need to find a better way. We do not need payment. We need justice. Jon Snow cannot go free. No, he can't. It's not for you to decide.
decide. Do I not hear to speak? Yes. Yes. But it's not for you to decide. What part of stop Don't speaking do you not understand here? This fate is for our king to decide. Or our queen. Who the fuck Who died and made them king and queen? Make your choice then. This bitch is still alive and... Anyway. I don't care anymore. My lords and ladies. What we decide today... Shut the fuck the up! A veteran of two wars. And I like to think my experience has led to some... some okay. understa Thank bro. Just skip fucking... They're doing this on purpose. They're trying to piss us off. Is the writers... Did the writers want to piss people off on purpose in this episode? Sansa smirking pisses me off. This character still being alive pisses me off. I don't know who the fuck that dude is next to Sam. And that pisses me off. We represent all the great houses, but whomever we choose, they won't just rule over lords and ladies. Are they gonna discover a democracy? The decision about what's best for everyone should be left to everyone. Yeah, what a great idea! Right? We've seen! Giving the public just votes is so smart, usually. Right? Because the everyday people are so intelligent and capable of choosing Maybe we should give the dogs a vote as well. who should My horse. rule them, right? That's what history has shown us, right? Imagine giving the people of King's Landing votes. Imagine the type of more imbeciles that would have ruled the Iron Throne while that is happening. What unites people? Armies, gold, flags, stories. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. Nothing can stop it. No enemy can defeat it. What is Tyrion talking about right now? What is she saying? Then brand the broken. The boy who fell from a high tower. What is Tyrion saying? Life. Since when did war peace happen with world. stories? And became the three-eyed raven. Why is the music playing like he's saying something? He memory. Children. Stories? Sons of kings can be cruel and stupid, as you well know. That is the wheel our queen wanted to break. You couldn't get to call her your queen, Tyrion. From now on, rulers will not be born. They will be chosen on this spot by the lords and ladies of Westeros <sighs> to serve the realm. Tyrion is a prisoner, by the way. She's taking the decisions. Because they're so incapable! Will you lead the Seven Kingdoms to the best of your abilities from this day until your last day? Why do you think I came all this way? Yeah, and practically they have a cheat code now as their king. Because she sees the future, right? Say I. Okay. Why are we gonna have this conversation? If Bran already saw that he was gonna be king, why are we wasting our time talking right. about stories and giving dumb right. speeches? And why do we even care if they say I? Who are these people? I. Is that the fucking? I. The nipple sucker is alive and Dan is dead, bro. The nipple I. sucker gets to make decisions I. on who rules. I. And I. you think that's gonna be good? Sansa is upset because she wanted to be queen. That's the only reason she opposed Danny to begin with. Brother, I always will. But tens of thousands of Northmen fell in the Great War, defending all of Westeros. The North will remain an independent kingdom. She wants to rule the North. For thousands of years. That's only the only thing she cares about. Well, that's why she was hating Danny the minute the minute she saw her. First of his name. Why is Tyrion crowning the new king? Man. Lord of the six what authority does Tyrion have right now to crown a new king? How many? What is what is going on? You will be my hand, Ooh, Your Grace. I don't want it, and I don't want to be king. <laughs> what is going on? I don't deserve it. Thought I was wise, but I wasn't. I thought I knew what was right. What? Did <laughs> what is happening? Did 
you and say if you're not Mahanda, I want to be king, yes, like a bratty child? No, you yes, can't say that now, Brand. They've chosen you, apparently. Justice. I love Tyrion to go into retirement. What the fuck? Giving you to the unsullied would start a war. Letting you walk free would start a war. So our new king has chosen to send you to the Night's Watch. You shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. Sansa and Arya wanted you freed, but they understand our new king needs to make peace. Oh, now they understand? Oh, now they understand, right? All of a sudden, Sansa and Arya can understand some things that aren't just about the family, right? All of a sudden, or is it they don't consider him family anymore since he's half Targaryen, right? It doesn't feel right. And they're racist against the Targaryens, obviously. Expect we'll ever see each other again. I wouldn't be so sure. A few years as Hand of the King would make anyone want to piss off the edge of the world. No, the callbacks don't work anymore. You've ruined it. It's been 20 minutes, 22 minutes of nothing since Danny died. 22 minutes of nothing this episode. Suli Vavaj or not. And like, I can't even enjoy Grey Worms storyline because now what is she like? The two people that he was supposed to, to live for? Missandei and Danny are both dead. I'm happy for Gregor the most out of every character left. Because he will be able to at least redefine his life, I guess, now and live it the way he wants to. But at least give him Missandei, at the very least. The soul and 100% dies with Danny, man. Like, what is this? What are we watching right now? Horrible decision, horrible decision. Horrible. The way they did it. The North is free thanks to you. Bitch, what? Thanks to Sansa? Do you know where Sansa would be if Danny hadn't come with her dragons? Do you know where the North would be? Do you know who the least helped in the long night in the war? Sansa. Now, if you said Arya, you'd have a point. But you didn't. You said Sansa. I can't. Where are you going? With Gendry? Oh. Nobody knows. I don't know. Yeah, right. No one knows. See you in the sequel, I guess. It's where all the maps are. You have your needle. Right here. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. You were exactly where you were supposed to be. If you don't stop with the prophetic fucking lines... Is she gonna fill up Jamie's page? Because she was empty? Yeah, that, right. Died of Cersei disease. That should be the, th the end of that. What authority does he have now to write on that book? Look at what they're filling the episode with, bro. What? I swear to God. The fact that she's referring to Cersei. We get to commemorate Cersei as a queen in the textbooks. Not as an evil hag, not as a demented bitch, not as an incestuous whore, a queen. What is the scene? What are we watching? <laughs> this is feeling screen time. Who thought of this? Was following the death of King Robert. I suppose I come in for some heavy criticism. Oh, he... You what? 
What does he say about me? Don't believe you're mentioned. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> funny. Your Grace. Your Grace. Your Grace. Your Grace. You're missing a master of whisperers. And a master of laws. And a master of war. Yes, Your Grace. Suitable prospects will be brought to you for an audience in the country. What does he matter? He already knows who he's gonna pick for those. Andrew he already knows the people that are gonna word. appear to him. He was last spotted flying. You know where Drogon is. Doesn't Bran know all of the shit? Why does he need a council? Doesn't Bran literally know everything? Wish your Grace. Isn't Bran the ultimate cheat code? Why do we need a council? Why does he need to... Serve at your pleasure, King Bran the Broken. Ruler of the Six Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Long may he reign. 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 That will improve. I'm sure it will. Sir Bran of the Blackwater, Lord of High God, and Lord Paramount of the Reach and Master of Coin. Would you say the Crown's debt to you has been paid? In full, my Lord Hand. Lord Davos, we have an armada to rebuild and forts to repair. Best builders and set them to the task. Well, speaking of builders, all the best brothels burned down. What are we watching? Is willing to fund reconstruction. Uh, brothels. The brothels? Well, I imagine he isn't using them properly. I think we can all agree that ships take precedence over brothels. I'm into a brothel. Wait, are they going to end this here? Oh, I was about to break my fucking screen. At least give me some hope. Give me some hope that the White Walkers will reappear. Give me some hope. If, say, this wasn't the last episode, right? In Game of Thrones, eventually came back, as you saw. The only story I'd even care for to follow is Arya. The only character I'd even remotely care for to follow is Arya. I can't believe that I'm sitting here watching Sansa. Didn't care about the people of the North. She didn't care about her family, she didn't care about her sister, her brother, Bran, she didn't care who lived, who died, as long as she lived and she became queen, That's, that was her plan really. Pretty much she's Cersei, that's what we get from this, Sansa is basically Cersei, well at least Ghost is alive. Finally Jon ends up leading his people which are the wild, the wildlings. The only interesting thing right now is Arya going to explore more of Westeros, that's the only interesting thing. King's Landing is gonna soon become what it was again, a cesspool of horrible people, because they are cancers. You better not end with Sansa. Are you even going? What is there for you to do? The wildlings are with us. The white workers are gone. So why are you going out? Where are you going? Why is even the people at the wall? That's a genuine question, actually. Even the shots are bad. These are not like iconic shots. Where are they going? Mm. What do I even say after this? Really? So I guess you're gay. Sansa now is a. Well, let's. Count, but let's see what happens. Sansa is the queen in the north. The north is independent from the rest of the kingdoms. Uh, Bran is at King's Landing. He's a cheat code, so I guess nothing bad will ever happen again. John is out with the wildlings, taking strolls in the in the snow. Uh, Arya is going uh, to find to discover America. Uh, who else? The council. It's a bunch of, uh, of uh, second tier characters. Uh, Brienne was writing about Jamie in that journal for some reason. 
what else? Ghost is alive, which was the most positive thing out of all of this. Dragon, I guess, is alive, and Grey Worm is alive. Those are two other, two other positive things of this. There's one last dragon, at least, living. And... Yeah, that's about it. That's it. That's about it. There's really nothing... It, they've had... They literally had a scene of Tyrion readjusting chairs for a minute after Danny died. Like, what are we talking about? Literally nothing happened after Danny's death. But a bunch of nonsense. A bunch of nothingness happened. Tyrion did not deserve to live, by the way. He did not deserve to just go back to being a Hand of the King. Literally where he started the show. I don't think he did. He even said it himself. I think he said it multiple times. Either have him go live out retirement or wherever the fuck he wants to go and think about everything. Don't bring him back to being the Hand of the King again. This is what this is something that pisses me off, right? A bunch of these characters is just like, they, again, they return to where they started, really. It's, John is back at the wall, Tyrion is back to being Hand of the King, the Wildlings are going back north of the wall. The only main difference is really Arari and Sansa. And I guess whoever now is at the, at the council, but again, not the second tier characters outside of Arya. Like, who thought it was a good idea? Genuinely, I can't understand who thought it was a good idea, bro, what they did here. Yeah, they didn't even do it well. They didn't even do the repositioning and everything else. I said, even the shots were boring. There was not even an interesting shot after Danny died. Like, everything looked just meh. We didn't even get one, we didn't get one epic shot. It's like the budget just disappeared after the killed of Danny. The sonars were like, you did what? You did what? When? You still have 40 minutes of runtime? Why would you do that? No, no, give us all the money back. We're taking all our money back. Figure it out by yourselves in these small rooms with no other people around. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have much to say. I genuinely... The, the main uh, thing that I'm left with with this finale is how, uh, how dirty they did Danny. That's it. That's it. How dirty they did Danny and everybody who followed Danny. Her main issue since the fucking beginning was she couldn't trust anybody and people kept betraying her. She didn't know if she could trust even her own family. And she couldn't even trust the showrunners because they just completely like erased her like that. So stupid. So stupid. So stupid. I guess I can do the this shit. Who died? Who didn't die? How did I do? How how are points calculated here? So I get one point for each correct answer in the first portion. Okay. So so Jon Snow is alive. One point. Sansa is alive. God damn it. Two points. Arya is alive. Three points. Bran is alive. Four points. Cersei is dead. 5 points, Jaime is dead, 6 points, Tyrion is alive, 7 points, he shouldn't be though, Tanash is dead, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, it just keeps getting worse, Missandei is dead, Yara is alive, Lysandre is dead, 8 points, Theon did not become a White Walker, but he is dead, so I get a point for that. Nine points. Zora is dead. Dead points. The Hound is dead. Eleven points. The Mountain is dead. It has him become a White Walker for some reason, but still. Twelve points. Sam is alive. Thirteen points. Gil is alive. We didn't even see Gilly again after a certain episode, but the child is also alive, so that's fourteen. 15 with Varys being dead. That's the only one that should have died out of these characters, good characters that did die. Thank God. So 15 points with Varys. Brienne is alive, so no point there. Davos is alive, so no point there. Bronn is alive, so no point there. Podrick is alive, so 
16 we pulled. Thurman is alive for whatever reason. Gregor is alive. Gendry is alive for whatever reason. Euron is dead, 17 points. Dari we never saw again. Zaken we never saw again. Mira we never saw again. And Hotbite we never saw again. So what's that? 17 points out of the first one, right? Denari is pregnant. Even if she was, we never found out. Because she got killed 30 minutes into the last episode. Who kills the Night King? John. I did not get that right. It was Danny. Uh, it was Arya. And who holds the throne? Nobody. Bran, but nobody, because the throne is melted. So, 17 points, right? I got 17. What is the total points that you can get, guys? Nettles, what's the total points that I can get out of if I got everything right in this? I feel like Danny can still come back. I do. Danny can still come back, I feel like. Drogon took her. Who knows what will happen after that? There might be dragon magic. Who knows? Who knows? And, you know, if I'm uh, George R. Martin, I'm that's what I'm doing. Like, you can't just erase your best character like that. You can't erase your best character. Like, it, like again, I don't know, was it Marzo that said it? It's like, at the end of the show, it's like Danny never even existed. What the fuck is that? Not really, because as I said, Danny saved the world. Danny saved the world. Everybody that's alive is alive because of Danny. But they want to gaslight us into thinking that she's some, she was going to be some evil ruler. Everybody's alive because of Danny. Sans is alive because of Danny. Tyrion is alive because of Danny. John is alive because of Danny. The North is alive because of Danny. Whatever is left of King's Landing is alive because of Danny. Okay, so it's 60 points without the White Walkers, so I got 18 out of 60. Pretty bad. Danny's gonna come back. She better come back in the books. Better come back and then. Then you can really, if you want to turn her into a villain, do it. But she becomes really bad. She becomes what they think she was now. Because what would be the last thing she remembers? Again, somebody who she thought she loved and thought was going to be loyal to her, stabbing her. Jon Snow did exactly what the Night's Watch did to him, to Danny. Exactly the same thing. No difference at all. Zero difference at all. Zero difference at all. And we, we hated those dudes, didn't we? We wanted all of them to die, didn't we? Even down to the way, the, the stabbing. Sneaky stabbing in the, the heart. Didn't even give you a chance to defend yourself. So, anybody who's gonna play the morality card with Jon Snow... Hypocrites. Why did the Night's Watch kill Jon Snow? They thought that he was taking the wrong decision and the decision that he was taking by bringing in the people who have been slaughtering innocent people Why was the little kid so mad? Because the people that Jon Snow helped to come south of the wall brutally murdered innocent people and his family Right? But why was everybody so mad at Oli? But suddenly, you know that Jon Snow. And they took the decision to kill, he, kill him. Because they thought that what he was doing was going to be the end of the people south of the wall. Exactly the same thing. There's not a single difference between the two. Oh my god, I don't care what he thought. But what's the difference? It's the th same thing. So the way you treated Oli and the people that he killed at the Night's Watch, that's how you should use Jon. If you wanna come, and I'm not talking about you guys, I'm talking about the people watching on this YouTube as well. If you wanna come at me about why I was supporting Danny, but you think John is a good guy, okay. Because there is no difference, there's literally no difference. Can't believe they made us sit through Tyrion readjusting chairs. I really can't believe that. In the finale of one of the most epic, the most epic TV show ever, they spent a good minute with Tyrion by himself looking across the table and readjusting the chairs after you killed your best character 36 minutes in I know but Ned's honor to save family I think is maybe what his thought was what family? what family mama god? didn't his family just send him to the night watch? 
Didn't his family banish him to the Night's Watch? That was his family. Didn't the family say, Oh, you're half Targaryen now? Away. Oh, you're half Targaryen now? What was the speech about? We only defend the Stark honor and we're, we stay together, the Starks, the Stark children? Oh, what? You're half Targaryen? Away with you. We don't care. Go to the Night's Watch. We'll never see you again. Who gives a shit? That family? Are you talking about that family? No, I know, I know, my God, I'm just ranting. Let me rant. Because I'm not gonna just skip over that as well. Wasn't Sansa the one who was keep, kept saying to Tyrion that there's a better choice and that choice is Jon Snow? And then Sans Sansa agreed to banish him to the night, night's watch. Why? Why did Sansa do that, chat? Why did you guys, why do you guys think Sansa agreed to banish Jon to the night's watch? Why did not Sansa, since the North is now is an independent kingdom, why does not Sansa fight for Jon to be at the North with her? What are your guesses? Why do you think she's doing that? Because she wants to be the Queen of the North, guys! And if Jon was at the North, they would pick him, not her. So she banished Jon Snow away. So that wouldn't be an issue. I don't think, I don't think Jon belonged in the Night's Watch more, more than he did in the North. Mama God. I think I think John ending up in King of the North would have been the perfect ending for John. I'm not mad at him being with the wildlings, but let's address let's address Sansa basically being Cersei 2.0 right now. Can we? Yes, she did. She wanted to be the queen. That's why that's why she sent John there. Yeah, just overall, just I was just not a fan of everything that happened post Danny's death, really. A lot of things I really didn't care for. I think in back I was a little bit harsh on the whole Brienne scene, where she was writing down Jamie's uh, uh, part in the book. That was kind of cool. That might have been the only cool. That was the only cool thing that happened after that. Honestly, Brienne writing down Jamie's soliloquy, or whatever, after his death. Except the ending when she wrote protecting his queen, which was just disgusting. Uh, but that was maybe the only cool part, part that I can think of where I, it actually gives me some closure regarding a character that I liked in Jamie. But everything else after that? Even the fact about them not mentioning uh, Tyrion? How stupid is that? How can you not mention Tyrion? You can't, like, it made sense in the Battle of the Blackwater in a way. It does not make sense when it comes to the context of everything that happened. Unless I misunderstood what they were talking about. How are you not gonna mention Tyrion? Who killed Tawin? You was more upset for Sam, Sam always stood up for John. Right? Right? Let me not start with Sam, because he hasn't done enough for me to really be upset at him. But right? Give people some authority, some power and some some uh, roles that they think they are important and look how they act, right? But Danny was the bad one. Mama Kara, I agree with you. I think Danny's gonna be alive whenever the story continues. She just has to be. She just has to be. Otherwise, this was like no way. Okay, guys. Uh, do you guys want? So I said uh, prior to this that I was gonna give you guys uh, room to kind of like tell me your thoughts and feelings about this and how the show ended and stuff so let me know in the chat uh guys who wants to like say something uh and i'll unmute and we, you can have the floor am i planning on reading the books uh i think so i i, I definitely want to read the books now i don't know i if i wait for uh, George R. R. Martin to release like the continuation for me to start because I don't want this to end again with the final image of me being just whatever this happened here I know this one this is a parallel to the books how, how the books ended also yeah that's what I'm saying right if he continues the books the books ended in season 7 right or season 6 so like none of this is canon really end of 5 so none of this is canon right he did give them plot points. Okay. The book ended with John dying. Okay. So yeah, I can start reading the books now then. Because this wouldn't be anyway where where they're, they're headed. Yeah, I definitely want to read the books. Absolutely. 
Just don't read Dance of Dragons till you watch the show. You mean House of Dragons? No, my cat? That show? Yes, Nettles, of course. Yeah, I but don't. It doesn't, Danny can't change? It doesn't make sense in my eyes. It, does. it, it, it was, as you said, it was character assassination by the writers. They, they wanted us to accept that she should die. That's why they wanted us to accept that she should die and that we should accept John, you know, as our hero at the end of the day or some bullshit. And it just didn't work. It, it doesn't work. Like I said, we yeah. have so much pre established history of how Danny thinks. Even her thought process we have been made aware of. All the meetings she has had with her counselors, trying to like yeah. decide is this the right thing? No, I don't want to kill them, but. Even when she was in Marine and she killed that one slave, she's like, yeah, but we need to make sure people understand that just because we liberated them from their uh, slave owners, there's still going to be rules at place. That's why she killed him. She didn't just decide, oh, I'm going to kill him because he disobeyed me. There's always There was always reasoning behind all the murder that Danny did. As much as they then... They tried to gaslight us into thinking that she had no reason for the people that she killed, but every single one, up down to fucking wanting to kill Tyrion, in my opinion, there was a reason behind that. I don't even want to focus on, oh, these are the bad things that she did along the way that you guys should have seen, because there's so much more good that Danny did. I agree. Like Daenerys before her dragons. Because you could say like, oh, she had dragons. Of course, she's going to be confident. Oh, she had dragons. Of course, she can go conquer a city. But what about Daenerys before the dragons? Daenerys who had no power. Daenerys who like, after being, you know, R-worded, instead of being like, oh, woe is me. Like Sansa always does. Like, oh, man, my life sucks. <laughs> yes, she drug went, Sansa. She went, <laughs> I, don't I don't care. I don't care. I have to drug. And <laughs> instead of being like, woe is me. I'm being R-worded, she thinks about other women and stops them. That's yes. what she uses her power for. Yes. And she didn't even have that much. She's a slave herself, Thank you. thinking of other slaves. Thank That's you. who she is. Her brother who wanted to R-word her, her brother who sold her into prostitution. She forgave him, she bought him presents. Don't you remember she bought him a whole outfit trying to help him yes. to be king? Yes. Because she was like, no, if you if you dress like a Dothraki, they'll see you as a king. Yes. Like, she, that's who she is. And then when she actually got her dragons, like, then she did even more good. Like I said, I had an argument. I don't remember with whom. It was either somebody in the comments of my last reaction uh, or in the live stream. I don't quite remember. But they compared uh, Danny with Cersei. And it's like... Give Cersei three no. dragons. Give Cersei three dragons when she was a kid. Not even now. Give her three dragons when she was Danny's age. When she got your dragons, see how Westeros stands. If Cersei had access to three dragons, and you want to talk about Danny being comparable in any way, what? People start hating on Danny, and it's because I think it's because she's pretty and she has power, and people always like want to hate what seemingly a person who has it all, like yeah, the they cheerleader, the blonde no. cheerleader. Nettles, I just said this to my daughter Kaylee today. That, that is exactly what happened with Danny. And that's what I tell my daughter with her. Because yeah. it's been her whole life. She had death threats in middle school. And I'm like, it's because you're beautiful, you're strong, you're kind, and people want to tear that down. And I think yeah. that's what they start, they did with Danny. And I get the sentiment because people want to love an underdog. So the fandom also really loves Sansa. Like, I lost a thousand Twitter followers because I wrote, Fuck Sansa. She deserved everything she got. That's oh, all no. I wrote. A th I lost a thousand followers. It hurt. It did hurt. I'm, I cried about it. <laughs> I went back oh, and forth no. for a week. I went back and forth with a week. But what I learned was that the fandom really loves Sansa overly really love Sansa and it's because it's like the underdog like oh she was R word and she doesn't she lost her wolf she doesn't have so anything was Danny. So they're gonna root, root for her I know that's something Danny lost way more Danny lost a child and a husband on the same day and then exactly. and Danny actually started from the bottom Sansa yeah did not start from the bottom I don't and again obviously horrible shit happened to Sansa and we all fell for her right we all felt for her while that was going on. But now, the way the show ended, just as, as I said, it looks like she's following the Cersei trajectory, is it not? Sansa? Well, she yes. said. Sansa said it. I learned a lot from her. Exactly. 
she's following right. at Cersei's footsteps. Again, we are projecting because we don't know what happens, but just the idea of her sending John away, because if John was with her in the north, they would all choose John over her, right? What did she do when John was c king of the north the entire time? Doubt it. Undermine him, him and him, make exactly. faces and make faces every time he made a command. Like, Ugh. exactly. <laughs> Arya, Arya, Arya called her out. Arya clocked her. She called. She called her out immediately. I don't want to even get into this. This is for someone else to talk about. But they assassinated Arya's character too, well, especially like because she never used her faces again mm. after what after season the first episode of season seven to, I mean, to intimidate uh, uh, uh sansa that was the last time wasn't it? all she kept saying was no one no one no one okay where's your personality you used to be throwing food in the cafeteria yeah. at sansa you used to be like with john and stuff john's trying to talk to her and she's like no one like she was he was like hey where'd you get the sword where'd you learn how to fight she's like no one i said like, what the heck yeah and and then for her to look at john in the eye and say sansa's the smartest person i ever met yeah that was horrible that, she, that was horrible that, yeah that, that Arya, was horrible. who are you you met Tyrion, Arya. don't you don't you remember you met jack and hagar yeah, you met yeah that, that did not make sense for Arya to say that at all she's smarter than sansa like hands down they kept they kept drilling it over the head over us over the head like sansa's smart sansa's smart yes. because why because she had one line when she was like oh my god the soldiers need to wear fur on their armor <laughs> that, that's all she said and i love the animosity you have cold. with sansa nettles because that's how i felt when this episode ended so she's you... like, it's cold out here. It's cold. Put some fur on your armor. And everyone's like, yes, <laughs> boss, babe. She's a good ruler. And, like, and, what? and they wanted to justify all her quote unquote tutoring she had under Littlefinger and Cersei, right? Who were supposedly conniving and smart uh, planners and shit like that. But come on now. Like, if, if now Arya, that... if Arya says that Sansa is the smartest person she knows, it's like she forgot, as you said, about have the people she knows because at least character I can assassination name, i can name at least like six seven characters that i would say are smarter than sansa well if you look at sansa too in that it, you know the scene with all the lords there tells bran he should be king yeah right she doesn't like that sansa sansa doesn't ask bran about keeping the north separate you know she tells him this is what it is yes i'm going to take the north me mine and boss <laughs> babe CEO. <laughs> so you just mentioned little finger and so that brings me into my next bullet point is the because i asked you this before we started is like what you thought of the political intrigue yes. and you're like well there is no political intrigue well because yes. you said most of the smart because people you said it's just one yeah it's just going and battling cersei we know what it's going to be a war no not necessarily that can. it's just that all the real strategies of game of thrones are dead so that you have, too. Yeah, you have one crazy bitch in Cersei as it in King's Landing, not knowing what the fuck she's doing, right? And then you have Danny, who was trying to do the smart, the smart thing and go and burn the Red Keep right away, but then her counselors being like, "Oh no, you, you don't want to do that for whatever reason." And the only smart one that was still alive was Grandma Tyrell, who died, right? Who told her, "Don't listen to them, do what you have to do." Yeah, but so what I meant by political intrigue is mostly like the backstabbiness of it all. Se season six and seven were um, leaked and spoiled before they aired, which was which HBO like they were really angry about. So every season after that, they tried really hard to like, you know, cybersecurity or whatever. But it doesn't matter what they did. It always ended up being leaked where there'd be a YouTuber who would say scene by scene what's happening oh, really? like there was one yeah like for um and even for even for this season there was some stuff leaked like for season eight they said like there was one that said like oh the night the danny's gonna try to burn the night king and then the night night king is gonna smirk like oh, that specific oh, oh. so they were very specific but, like they had seen the scenes yeah so then like so for season eight the the showrunner said that they filmed five um different endings so that even the actors wouldn't know which was the ending. Wait for real? Oh, so John's actor said he filmed the death scene. Tyrion said this, he filmed the death scene. Like all these, so like what? they wouldn't. Yeah, so that even if it was leaked, they could be like quickly go and choose the other ending or whatever. You know what I mean? Yes. So when you watch 
season seven and season eight, you can see that there's like all these lost threads. And that's what I mean by like the political intrigue that they could have done to make this better. Like for example, Tyrion making all those mistakes in season seven, I think this is now this is the part of just me making up my theories based yeah, on yeah, what go I've ahead. seen. We love that. Go ahead. I think one of the endings was Tyrion betraying Danny. Yes. Like yeah. and, and that would show why when he got to Westeros, he's telling her like, Oh, go to go to Casterly she, Rock. She was doing what, what Danny Who cares kind of about Casterly Rock. Yes, she, she you saying she was doing what Danny accused him of at some point, which is you're trying to protect your family. You're not actually yes. trying to help me get the Iron Throne. You're just trying to protect your Every family. Every time you see you saw Tyrion and Cersei have a conversation, then they cut the conversation. You don't know what Tyrion yes, and Cersei yes, discussed yes. after he said, are you pregnant? I can definitely so, see that. I can definitely see that. That's what I mean by political intrigue. That's a quick thing they could have done to fix it, yeah. and it would have salvaged Tyrion's yes, character. Yes, that is true. My only thing with that one, although I would have liked to possibly see it better than what we got, uh, would it really make sense for Tyrion to go to these depths for Cersei again, as I said, I'm talking specifically about Cersei. We know that he loved Jaime, but would he go to those depths to protect Cersei at this point? Would it make sense? I have one line. I have one line Tyrion said in season one, and he says, "My brother, you wound me. I would never go bet against my family." Yes, I remember that line. In the beginning, you know, first four seasons of Game of Thrones, every time someone was supposed to do something, there was always another nature to it. That's what I mean by the political yes, they were Not... Yes, I agree. I agree with that. I right. agree with that. It got a lot like more these... straightforward in the later seasons. That is true. Right. But... It was like there was no humor. There was no more sex. Like, think about <laughs> there was these last no two episodes. Fucking <laughs> but they were. They just didn't really focus on them. For example, Arya and uh, Gendry, right? But that was so tame compared to what we yeah, used to see. We didn't even come on. Thank God, though. you know. Thank God, though, because I, I did know, not want. I, I did not want to see Arya in a sex scene. Trust me, that would have. Been. I know, I know, but still, <laughs> it's like they would just walk into the room and say their line, and that was it. You would have to figure out what they mean by that line, yeah, and, yeah. and look middle fingers, and look at this person's hands, and like try to figure it out. I think, I think, I think, that. I think, like when you look at it in totality, I think that there was definitely uh, a lot more. Uh, as I said, multifaceted writing in the earlier seasons. I, I don't necessarily agree that there weren't sad scenes. For example, a lot of the dialogue I really, really, really loved in these later two seasons. There were a lot of that. There's a lot of conversations between the characters that I really, really liked. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I thought, oh, I, all of a sudden the writing is not good. No. But I'm sure if I go back and rewatch and rewatch and rewatch the seasons and the episodes, I'm going to start picking up more things that kind of yeah. like echo what you're talking about right now but i definitely still enjoy the writing uh i i said yeah i still enjoyed this last season a lot like extremely like probably the most out of everybody that i've talked in real life that has got to the show i probably enjoyed the last season the most but up until this episode minute 36 whatever it was we're dying dies after that it was just it, it kind of ruined everything that they had built it even in these last two episodes which i did not like what they were doing with dan's character but mm -hmm. as i said if you wanted to really portray her as kind of like terrifying villain give her this last episode to truly turn into that but instead yeah. they, they just kill her like in a bullshit way by john betraying her yet again as i said people kept betraying her her entire life and then i am i only feel more sorry for johnny as he dies and i just suddenly dislike john a lot more for that reason. And the, thing, the thing that we kept saying as the fandom is that it felt rushed and we needed one more season. I yes. definitely agree with that. One more season to say what you're saying. How about a whole season of Danny going crazy? I agree. Let yes. Yeah. Give us, if and, you want um, to turn her into an evil character, give her the time to become evil. Give her the time to do even one tenth of what we see Cersei do. Like, give her some time to actually make us feel for her. Like, oh no, she's actually. It would be terrifying if she became the ruler because she died with me feeling oh she was still probably the second best option behind john if we're being honest some other lost threads i have is that like all the pregnancy stuff like that was a question on the oh, thing the, because yes, about Danny, for, you for years for about three years the fandom was fantasizing about these babies because <laughs> remember it's like two years it took them two years to give us season eight and two years to give to give us season seven they wanted to show us danny and john having sex and then like nothing came of it now the actress for cersei she did say that she filmed a miscarriage scene 
So I guess maybe she was pregnant, yeah. but then they, but she they didn't lost show that, it, so. and then wanted to continue yeah. to play along with her being pregnant for for the goal. Yeah. Okay. And then another thing that I think they should have done is that a Sansa pregnancy scene because Sansa has some lines where she says to um, Ramsay, she was like, "I could feel." Uh, yes. She says to Ramsay, yes. "No, Ramsay says to her, I'm still a part of you. I'll always be a part of you." And then Sansa says to Littlefinger, "I could, I, I could feel everything he did yes. to me still in his body right now." Yes, we so, can like, take this a couple of different that, ways, though. She could still feel the trauma, the traumatic experience, or she could what you're talking about, be referring right. to yeah. We could have had her give birth to that child and then strangle the the newborn. Come on, <laughs> that was. <laughs> Yeah, I think that when she said still pains me inside it is something that you couldn't get pregnant from. Yeah, I, I kind of got that yeah. too, right? <laughs> yeah. Or just and, and overall. And up to our imagination. Yeah, yeah overall, then, uh, I would never imagine uh, Ramsey uh, not being the rough type in, in the bed. So, right. yeah, that's why, I, well, that, that's why my mind went to. I did not think about possibly hearing Karen's right. child. Which would be a quarterfinal prospect. When I absolutely the the one time I love Sansa is when she does say to him, "Memory of you will disappear. This and that from you will disappear." Yep. Yes. yes. Yeah. That is a powerful. Yes, Sansa powerful had scene. had had those scenes where it's like where she's able to come through her trauma a lot stronger. Uh, yeah. Which I really appreciate well, I, about her story. She could have gone further. They could have gone further to make Sansa earn, earn to be queen of the north. Yes. That's another thing too. Yes, she did not. Exactly. Like, she did not actually be a ruler, not just tell people there's to put fur on. We're in the north. Yeah. We know. Okay, like <laughs> show us, not tell us. Yeah, they could have given her more sign in some of the strategy. For example, like she was trying to convince John to hear her input outside of here, just hiding for whatever reason that she was going to bring Littlefinger into the fray in the Battle of the Bastards actually show us some like leader qualities in here. I don't think yeah. I don't think Sansa has showed enough leader qualities where it would justify me wanting her to be queen and that's why I'm comparing her with Cersei. She's unqualified for the role and I think I know that we don't know what happens but I think it's not going to end well for the North and Sansa. One being independent uh, and then being under her rule specifically, I don't, I don't think it's gonna end well for them. They should. There was even one about like Sansa was the like these are just theories at the time that Sansa was the one um, sending the secret messages to Cersei, like letting her know what Daenerys was doing because right. people were asking like how did how did Euron know where to be yes. like what day that they set sail to like do all this well. What if Sansa was the one it, who who sent that secret message, even though she hates Cersei, like things like that? They could have done that just yes. to make Sansa. Well, she says more she says something. out facing publicly that she hates Cersei, but she did have that line about her kind of admiring her, in a way. After this episode, someone dropped something. I think it was like they listed two or three hundred loose threads, like questions we still had that they never answered from the show. Like for example, do you remember Quaith, the lady in the mask? Yeah, yeah she kind of dis she kind of disappeared after okay. after Karth. Yeah, Dario. I, I did say we probably weren't gonna see Dario again after he was but left. But still, back. like in the last episode, show a shot of Marine crumbling down and show that you know what? He Instead failed. of showing Tyrion readjusting the chairs, the chairs, yes, show us what Dario is doing in Marine. I yeah, guess. shows he failed and Marine is burning itself out of something. You know, no, I would not what have did the voice? I, I wanted at least some things that Danny left. To still be like how she left it. What did the voice in the fire say to Varys as his parts burn? I want to know that. Death by fire is, is the power? purest death. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like, or some shit like that. Prophesizing his death. Or maybe. was the Night King a Stark, a Targaryen, or no one of importance? Mm. I think. Well, wasn't he like the 13th um, Lord Commander at the Night's Watch? Was he? From what Read somewhere. No, then... because the the children of the forest are putting the shards into his chest, and it looks like that's before the wall was built. Oh, yeah, wasn't okay. the wall built for the White Walkers? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where I saw that, but there uh... was a thirteenth Lord Commander, and they did call him the Knights King, but that's in the books. So the oh, show, like, 
So the show stole the name Night King, but they created a whole new character. Oh, okay. Or maybe I'm thinking the um, Three-Eyed Raven. No? She was, the Night King was a Three-Eyed Raven, you the, mean? No, 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 no. no. The, the Three-Eyed Raven is a Targaryen. It's a Targaryen. Oh, the one that Bran le learned from, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I can yeah. see that. I can see that. They didn't give us much info on him outside of him teaching Bran, at least on the show. I don't know about the books. The thing with the Night King, like, he kind of like, the the thing with the White Walkers in general, they were kind of like this unknown entity that we should just be scared of, and they were like always ominous and always approaching and always coming. I don't know if I would necessarily want to just find out everything about them, even the part with the children of the forest, how they created them. I maybe would have even liked us to just not know where they come from and then just being kind of like this scary thing that was coming, right? So it didn't really bother me that we didn't really get to find out everything about the Night King, what he was, who he was prior to this. But yes, if you were interested in finding out the lore, they really did nothing in terms of giving us more than just all oh, the children of the forest created them. To protect them right. from the first men, right? Is, that, that was the reason. Yep. I want to know your perspective on King Bran, Big Brandon, not the little one. <laughs> uh, King Bran the Broken. Yeah. Um, do you see him as a villain who let Danny do all of this for him and then just took the throne? Ooh, yes. listen. <laughs> That's a very interesting question. He knew I was the... going to kill the knight. Right, because the moment Bran oh, became okay. the all-seen raven or whatever the fuck he is, he suddenly knew everything, right? He, he was able to see what needed to happen in the future for them to beat the Night King, right? But there were still, inst there were still some factors that he was uh, unaware of, like Sam needing to tell him about who is John, uh, that uh, John's parents were actually married, right? Ja Bran did not know that even though he was supposedly to know so was supposed to know everything so that gets a little bit confusing for me how much does Bran actually know right i don't know if he actually uh, can I... yes 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 go ahead can i explain it a little bit yeah 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 just the simplest way is it's kind of like google all the information's there but you have to know okay. how to access it you have to look so for like it so it's like he didn't know yeah he just saw john being born so he's like oh that's Lyanna and Rhaegar's son, but he never thought they'd be married. But he, once okay. once Sam told him they were married, he was able to then go at the exact tree and we saw the scene of them getting married. Yes. Right. Yes. Do you think that's partially because he was told the other story his whole life? So he just didn't even consider right. that? He didn't sec second, second guess himself or question it. Yeah, that's, that's probably yeah. why. Yeah. That could be an explanation. Now, do I see him as a villain? If he knew all of it, that that Danny was gonna go there, she was gonna decide to burn the people, then John was gonna kill her. If he knew everything, yes, he has, you know, probably the most blame out of everybody. If we're being honest, I don't think it's if. I think I think he did know because first of all, why wouldn't you be looking at King's Landing to see what's happening? Because that's everyone's focus is there. Yeah, I would I would agree with you 100. percent I would agree with you 100%. He says, why do you think I came all this way? Right. Which right. means I came this way to be king. Right. Which means he knows that Daenerys is not. Right. And yeah. of the dragon flying over King's Landing. Yeah, he did see the dragon flying over King's Landing early, early on when he touched that tree. That is true. I don't see that in Bran as a character. You know, they haven't given us something for us to consider Bran just being okay with everybody in King's Landing dying just so that he can become king. Like, it seems very out of character, you know what I mean? They haven't given us right. anything to go that, that it's going to be like, you know what? We kind of saw that in Bran early on that he would, would like to be king or something but like they, that. They said that about Daenerys, that, oh, early on you should have known that she was crazy. No. I know, even but even <laughs> even but even for Danny, right? Not that she was crazy, but Danny really wanted to be to sit on the Iron Throne. She really wanted that. Outside of her, how she she clearly didn't want her, her natural uh, disposition was not to kill innocent people ever, like they did in the last few episodes. But she always wanted to reclaim the throne that was she believed was his family's, and she kept saying that you know she's a rightful 
heir, she, her family, that's her, her family's throne. Bran never had any throne aspirations ever, at least in the show. I don't know about the book, but at least in the show, I never got that really out of Bran. But it is a, a fault in writing, maybe, because Bran should know that all of this was going to happen. And why didn't he tell anybody? Or it could be one of those situations where it's like, if you guys have seen Avengers, there's like, they said, a million outcomes and only one where the majority don't die. Maybe Bran was like, you know what? Everything like this needs to happen this way for the least amount of harm to be done. Maybe. I'm just throwing something I like that. I like yeah. that. That's kind of like how I thought it. He understood that a lot of people were going to have to die for the best case scenario of what's going to happen afterwards. I, I think I think I agree and I think that's how it works too like being in the trees it's like these different timelines like even like the whole door so yeah I think yes, that's yes, what yes. it is with Bran yeah um, in the books there is some clues about King Bran um, just like in the show the books start the first POV the first chapter is Bran and he, the whole thing is in, and it's just like the show um, the king and everybody coming to to Winterfell, and Bran is like looking at everyone. He's like, "Oh, that's what a king should look like." And there's like a, there's like a little bit of foreshadowing to show that Bran is ambitious. He gets to go to King's Landing, and he's talking about how he's going to train to be a knight. He's going to be a king's guard. So that yeah. it does kind of show that. that if they showed yeah. that more in the show, then I would be like, "Yeah, there are some uh, inclines for Bran to pull a but fast one on everybody and be like, "Haha, now I'm the king, bitches." But that's not what we saw. People um, also think that like the tree is a hive mind, kind of like these aliens, so that like they've now controlled Bran and like Bran is really dead, like what? honestly dead, and that's why he's like, I'm just yeah, he was Sansa, emotional. You were beautiful, yeah, because yeah. he has no more emotion because it's like a thousand minds in one person, and so they think that like the children of the forest, the trees, all this stuff is like this big conspiracy about secretly sacrificing blood to the trees that's why you're always seeing them weeping blood and that oh them wow. putting they blood really the went in with the <laughs> with the and, lore in, in, in their heads yeah the did. that's impressive i i, I can't even buy into the, that i can't even buy into that yeah that's, that's an interesting perspective i can buy into it honestly. especially if you think about the children of the forest hating mankind yeah so much they created the white walkers yeah it would be it would be a great way for them to kind of like take revenge in a way but i said uh so my last question is now that you've seen all that you've seen right. um what do you think of ned's decision to lie about john being his son I'll like was him. it was it worth it like think about how catelyn treated john how she said i wish it was you when Bran was laying in a coma, how John felt so bad about himself that he went to the, the army. He went to the Night's Watch because yeah. he had no place in society or his house. And then think about Rhaegar, Lyanna, John, and Danny, and the ending of the show, like all of that. And then Ned Shame. If. Uh, marriage. <laughs> Ned was, if Robert was not going around killing every Targaryen, I would agree with you, but I feel like ultimately Ned knew that if more people found right. out about John being half Targaryen, he would not make it alive to be the age that he right. was in the show. So you agree? You think it was the right choice? I think decision? it was the right choice because Ned had spent enough time around Robert and he realized that the type of disdain and fear quite frankly, that Robert Hart of the Targaryens. It was going to be a very high possibility that John would die early if people knew about him being half Targaryen. It would uh, have okay, to be... but lying to his wife. But could we trust his wife? Could we really trust Kathleen? I... Rob, he even lied to John. Why did he tell John? Like, John, do you know who your because mom really John is? John would do some dumb shit and go tell Sansa like he did with Danny. Some dumb I shit, some have... idiotic shit. And some bit more people would find out. I think I think I Ned. Have, yeah, yeah, Mama Cat. Yeah, Mama Cat. I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have trusted Cat. Right, Catelyn. Be, like some of the things she did with Rob. She betrayed. I, Rob's I think trust. She was maybe just a loose cannon and. Yeah, yeah Catelyn's his wife. But uh, Lyanna's his sister, and blood. And 
he made a promise to her, and that's all about promises. That is also but true. But I, I would fear that Catelyn would let, would get mad about something and let it slip. That's just me. I agree. I think I think Ned took everything into consideration. But I think you know, even when the show started, right? Ned was about to tell John, wasn't he? He probably thought now that he's going to the Night's Watch, he's gonna be safe, right? Because Aemon Targaryen was in the Night's Watch and he was safe, so he was probably right. like, I can tell him the truth now. He's gonna be far away and a non-threat enough to Robert where he'll be able to live and not get killed. I think I, I like I can see why Ned took the decision that he did. I'm not gonna be like that was a mistake because he really had to decide. Do I risk John being killed just like that? Because one, like like we said, one person slips up about who he is, and now the whole kingdom is after him. Honestly, so okay. no, I agree. I I would agree with Ned's decision to not tell. All right, cool. Um, I just want to say again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for putting this out here on the internet. I love that like whenever I have like future kids, they'll be able to watch this and go on the journey with you because it's just out there. <laughs> oh, that's, and it's something that that's amazing. That's just even <laughs> you saying that. That's that's so dope. Thank you very much. I, yeah. I keep saying you guys have made this 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 me watching Game of Thrones for the first time even better. Just by yeah. what you guys tell me about the show, the live streams that we do, this stuff right here, it just makes the whole the whole experience so much more interesting and entertaining for me too so thank you guys as well i find myself like uh replying to you all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i want uh, you guys please i want you guys like anything that you disagree or agree with i just want to i want to hear your guys opinion always because that's the fun of it that's why i do the reactions right get your guys feedback right i say dumb shit i, I say sometimes some smart shit i don't know and you guys let me know <laughs> and that's why it's fun no you're very smart very perceptive you picked up Thing. I watch a lot of reactors. Like I think I've probably watched like sixty or seventy <laughs> reactors. Because like I said, I haven't I haven't found a show as good as Game of Thrones. So I found myself rewatching Game of Thrones episodes. And then when I found uh, YouTube reactions, then I started watch instead of just watching Game of Thrones by myself, I started watching it with you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's even so better, I right? To rewatch it with people who have not watched it, it's always better. I know yeah. a lot of like reactors and channels and like they're kind of like dumb like we all were like we missed so many things even now like i've watched the show like probably 30 times and i still find new things that i didn't see before I so i encourage you to like watch rewatch the show the first time you watch it is for shock value the second time you watch the show is for the storyline and then the third time you rewatch the show is when you finally get like the characters this this show has like in terms of rewatchability, I don't think I would get bored of watching Game of Thrones, right? It's it's gonna be one of those shows where, just like you said, I just want to see some epic shit. I'll turn on an episode of Game of Thrones that I remember that was amazing, a Danny scene, or I'll go back to watch the Red Wedding, or I will go back to watch Arya. I'll definitely be watching Game of Thrones again and again and again. For sure. Absolutely. And now that you finished it, you can't be spoiled, so you feel free to. That is true, and I can also like exactly. I can also go to your channel, watch your videos, <laughs> right? I can um, join the overall Game of Thrones community without fearing of spoilers. I can go watch people's like, you know, their theories and shit. Absolutely, absolutely. You're about to go like silent for a mm. month. <laughs> just it's gonna just be down the wormhole. Yes. Um. And it's Am gonna be so much Amelia fun. Amelia Clark. Uh, you know Daenerys' actor. Uh, she tried to find her interviews first, I guess. I, I, <laughs> Just I, as a little I treat. think uh, before I even watched the show, there was this talk going around about Cher really not liking the ending. Yeah. And I can now yeah. definitely see why. Like, you mean to tell me I did all that character development for you to just erase me literally like that? No. Nah. Yeah. Nah. I will say a lot of the actors were also begging the showrunners to be done with it because they didn't want to quit the show obviously you want to finish the story you started telling but they had been doing it for 11 years and they had aged out they wanted to go do other movies and stuff which which is stupid because I'm an actor and like I would never are feel you that really? way are you, like, are you an actress oh yeah yeah I went to an art school I won competitions on Shakespeare oh, wow. I lived in LA 
But oh, wow. besides that point, but the actors for John and Danny were pretty much the only, the ones that weren't like that. Like for Daenerys, Amelia Clark, like that was like the role of a lifetime. Absolutely. She like loved her. She loved her. So like reading that ending, like it's no surprise why she was like, I can't what even, the F is this? Right. I can't even begin to imagine. You've given your 11 years of your life two strokes, right? To this character. Yeah. And like he wasn't tired of it like everyone else was. And same thing with Jon Snow, his actor actually went into depression, alcoholism, he had to go to rehab. Uh, like really? because after yeah. the show he didn't have any purpose. Yeah. Whoa. He loved it so much. Like he loved being Jon Snow. Oh. And he thought Jon Snow as a person was better than him. I mean Yeah. Like like imagine if you yourself started playing Jon Snow and you started comparing Jon Snow to you. Yeah, I can I can definitely see if you do that. He was very similar to Ned, right? Too good to be true. Yeah. Like they kept saying like only Ned Stark would ever do the honorable thing in that situation. And Jon Snow was pretty much the same thing. And yeah, I can't even yeah. to imagine giving 11 years again of your life into this character and then all of a sudden now you're supposed to go to a rom-com or something. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. I, I don't. I, I, I definitely can see why. And also, as you said, like this, for me, as I said, Arya, uh, Danny, John, and Tyrion were my favorite characters. Danny and John, really, they were like the people that carried the show in its majority. I won't say that John had the biggest, uh, it, it, like, he evolved the most as a character. He remained pretty much Jon Snow, just the situation yeah. he was in changed. But, you know, Danny's character changed so much. Arya's character Aria. changed so much. Absolutely. Tyrion, although he ended in the exact same place, he had the roller coaster. So, like, for these actors, yeah. I can definitely imagine why they're like, well, what I, what I do after this? Like, this is the peak of right. my acting career. I've picked, like, they're not going to get many opportunities to play roles that have more right. seat to them than the ones that they played in Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's what I've been telling you when you're done with this. I don't know if Nettles has watched it, but Diary of a CEO, Stephen Bartlett, he's fantastic. He, oh. Having a conversation Maisie Williams. Yeah, the actress and of Ophelia, right? About her childhood and how horrible her childhood was. And then she had Game of Thrones, so everything flipped and was wonderful. And then she went into depression after the show too. Well, how old was uh, Maisie Williams when it ended? When the show ended? I think she said eleven, even though she was tiny. She, when, when it ended? her father. No, her father. when it ended, she was oh, like no. twenty. No, when it started. Yeah, I said when it, when the show ended. She started when okay. she was eleven, right? She was like twenty-two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Was cause Very she young was still, daughter. right? To think where where to, where do I go after this? When you're a twenty-two-year-old actor, right. you still have. Yeah. Like you're basically just yeah. starting, right? And then you're like, well, I've picked at 22. <laughs> what do I do? But th that, her childhood with her father, it was awful. Really? Oh, I definitely, I, I'm yeah. going to have to find out more about yeah. that. We can start a thread here, like one of those hashtag things on the Discord, where all we could just be is just links. Yes. Of, we can that would be the, great. Of interviews. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining. It's, it's so nice, as I said. Like Neville said, like, like we discussed, so nice to have you guys so that I can like get even deeper in the show and the theories about it and just have discussions. Uh, if we agree, if we disagree, it's all fine by me. That's the beauty of it. Uh, yeah, I definitely did not like the the last part of the last episode, the everything after 36 minutes in, but Game of Thrones, it's like, even again, as I said, even this last season, I enjoyed up until the moment Danny died. I really did. I haven't watched a better show. The hype was warranted. Everything that I kept hearing about it was warranted. Uh, I had a blast watching it. And yeah, it, it, I'm a little bit sad that it's finished. I don't know if I'll be able to find again another show that is gonna get me this invested to the point where I really want to shut the episode off after a character died or I just have to get up and walk out for a solid 20 minutes before I can continue the reaction like it has happened 
many times uh, watching the show uh, but yeah if only they had ended it perfectly but I'm of the belief that there's no such thing as perfect ending really it's impossible to please everybody but damn it hurt it hurt seeing seeing how they did Danny Dirty I assume if you hated Danny by that point you probably liked the ending right you probably were like yeah get that bitch out of here but I can't imagine being that person honestly you guys have been amazing uh, your support has been great and I really really appreciate you all for even caring about what I gotta say uh, so thank you so much thank you so much guys uh, and I'll see you in House of Dragons first of all we're gonna definitely do that the, the end the show ending live stream that I'll do and obviously all the rest reactions uh, thank you so much guys and see ya